In the last decade or so, a software called Marmoset Toolbag has made a name for itself as one of the best industry standard software in the market today. Not only that, but it is also seen as one of the most unique software offering a combination of features that are not always found in the same software. On the other hand, we have Keyshot, which you have probably heard of because it has been around for almost two decades, and it is very popular among 3D artists. So what are these two software in question, what is the difference between them, and where you can use each one of them depending on your needs? It might sound strange to hear now, but what if I told you that once upon a time, before Marmoset Toolbag became a commercial hit, the software was never meant to see the light of day. Interview given to QBrush, Joe Wilson, an art director at Marmoset, took a trip down the memory lane to the early days of Marmoset Toolbag. Back then, the idea behind the software was to be just a humble in-house 3D model viewer, born out of necessity for a proprietary game engine that they were using at a former game studio. You know, it was a tool for their artists to load their 3D models, create materials, and see how it would look like in-game without having to open the whole engine. And honestly, that was a bright idea. However, somewhere along the way, they were like, you know what, making these tools is actually more fun than game development, at least in their book. So they decided to release the first alpha version of Toolbag to the public, and after receiving a lot of positive feedback from the Polycount community, the software got real momentum and became popular, especially in the game development field because a lot of artists use it, me included. When it comes to Keyshot, it was made by Lokshan, a company that was founded in 2003 by the two brothers, Henrik von Jensen, a Danish computer graphics researcher who is known for developing the photo mapping technique as a subject of his PhD thesis, but has also done important research in simulating subsurface scattering at realistic CGI skies, with also a background of creating special effects, and he worked in films like The Titanic, The Matrix, and Avatar. Also won an Oscar for his work on The Lord of the Rings. The other brother is Klaus von Jensen, another software engineer himself, with both practical and consultancy experience. But one day Henrik said, there is all this amazing technology used in movies, why not use it for something else? And the obvious choice for him was product design and making realistic 3D images of products that don't exist yet. And that's how Keyshot came out to be. A software that was the first real-time ray tracing software to use a physically correct render engine based on scientific research in material representation and global illumination. It is also worth mentioning that Lokshan united with another company known as DigiZoot, and now they simply go under the name of Keyshot. However, which one between Marmoset and Keyshot is actually better? Before we dive into which one is better, first we have to agree on a few things. While they have often been compared to each other, they are not exactly two sides of the same coin, with a whole world of differences between them. For the case of Marmoset Toolbag, it is renowned for being a multi-tool software that was mainly designed for dealing with 3D assets in the game development industry, which takes care of many struggles that you may face in the day-to-day -day activities. However, tools are just tools, and there are no rules against using them in film, archviz, product design, and other fields. But especially it is the case if the final destination is a game engine, or rendering within Marmoset. As a matter of fact, it has a good track record of doing that. Even though the software can achieve a lot of things, it is mainly divided into four sections. First of all, and most obviously, one is its powerful real-time raster and GPU accelerated ray tracing rendering, just like how it is done in game engines, with both physically based rendering and image based lighting at the core of this technology, to produce outstanding and realistic results or maybe stylized. The second section is texturing, and the ability to create textures from scratch, but more on that later. Once you achieve that goal, the software is home to the industry-leading real-time baking tools, which is the idea of turning the textures into a series of maps, such as diffuse, roughness, and normals, to use it in game engines, for example, or anywhere else for that matter. And it achieves this by using the power of the GPU, 
to create both fast bakes but also smart ones. For example, you can adjust local areas of your mesh and it will rebake only the affected areas. And on top of that, you have the scene editing workspace to combine assets together and create engaging renders. Now, for Keyshot, the software is purely a rendering engine, which takes advantage of real-time ray tracing, in addition to global elimination to create 3D renders, animations, and interactive visuals. It is mainly known for being an easy software to learn that can help you render accurate materials and accurate real-world lighting, and it does this on a high level if you ask me. What takes the center stage when it comes to the software is using it to render product design, engineering product, and marketing content. And let me tell you, it was made with these goals in mind, as we can see through its cat-friendly environment and the ability to import NURB files, a type of technology that was made specifically for manufacturing. So, as an engineer or a product designer, you can take your design from your design software and throw it into Keyshot and start rendering. So, like I said, Keyshot is known for being a friendly software with a simple user interface. As you can see, it comes with 3D view in the middle, an asset picker on the left, where you can choose all sorts of elements, such as textures and environments, and then you have all different menus on the right to adjust and work on your scene. For example, adding lights, a material editor, and environment adjusting. When it comes to Marmoset, the recent iteration of the software to be exact in the form of Marmoset Toolback 4, the user interface can be seen as more confusing. However, when you look at the top left, there are small menus to switch between the different workflows of the software, such as rendering, animation, and of course texturing, and in a way, it is similar to Substance Painter, since it offers smart materials, a collection of materials that apply and adapt automatically to your 3D model. But it also offers the ability to paint with brushes, grunge maps, and the list goes on. However, it is eventually easy to get used to the interface, especially for seasoned artists with experience. And it is important to mention that all the different areas of these tools are very detailed, so we can't cover them all in one video. But now, which one is actually better? To be fair, comparing these two software can often feel like comparing apples to oranges. The two softwares still overlap in three areas. The first is scene editing. And honestly for this one, it is more or less the same, since it is just placing and moving assets around. And then you have libraries. Marmoset offers a free asset library with hundreds of skies, materials, textures, and presets to assist you in the creation of assets and then you have Keyshot which is shipped with more than 750 materials ranging from clothes, leather, to metal, as well as the use of industry standard color libraries from Pantone and Rao. And while in my view Keyshot materials are of high quality, the variety that Marmoset offers cannot be underestimated. Then for the main event, we have rendering. Look, this one can be subjective, and there is no way to identify a clear winner here. To me, I think Keyshot renders look better, especially for product design and visualization. But here's the thing, for rendering game assets with all sorts of imperfections and grudges, and especially if you want to test it for game engines, I can't help but think that Marmosat is the winner here, because lots of game development professionals use it for this purpose. However, if you aim to produce photorealistic renders, then Keyshot is obviously better, in my opinion thanks to its advanced lighting algorithms and accurate rendering. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.